everybody. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, thank you for finding me. Subscribe down below, like, and comment. Today's review is about the movie Booksmart. I loved this movie. I am just going to put it out there right now. I'm not going to spoil this. It's a pretty simple plot. Two girls that are lifelong friends are finally graduating high school. They're the type where they're study holics, nose in a book all the time. They never go out and have any fun. And they get into very prestigious schools like Yale and Columbia. And they come to find out that their other classmates that have pretty much slacked off have also got into colleges of high prestige. So what they've done really didn't matter at all. And so they missed out on all the partying in high school. And so on the night before their official graduation, they decide to go out with a bang. They're going to party. They're going to do everything that they missed out of doing in high school all in one night. Now, a lot of people are comparing this movie to Superbad, the female version. I think this movie is way better than Superbad. So if you enjoyed that movie, you are going to love Booksmart. And the reason being is the chemistry between the two lead actors, uh, Caitlin Devers and Beanie Feldstein, is phenomenal. These girls are wonderful actresses. Their chemistry is natural. It does not feel fake or phony at all. You would think these girls have known each other forever. They have the kind of friendship that everyone has in high school. You have that one BFF best friend that's always there for you. They know all of your secrets. And that's what these girls portray. Their chemistry is amazing. And I just loved seeing them on screen together having fun. And you could tell that a couple of the scenes, little bits here and there were probably improvised. And they did a fantastic job. Now this movie was directed by Olivia Wilde, the actress. This is her directorial debut. She has hit this out of the park. I, I can't say enough of the amazing job that she did. I just loved it. And I don't know who wrote this script, but whoever wrote it did a phenomenal job. This script is smart. It's witty. It's funny. I was physically laughing numerous times in this film. And if I'm doing that, that means this movie is a success. I highly enjoyed this film. It never drags along. It's about an hour and 45 minutes. And it was the perfect length of time. It told a cohesive story. The supporting players in this movie were right on target. Very Like all the kids, all the high school kids, very much today. And it was very realistic. Now you have bit cameos by Jason Sudeikis, Lisa Kudrow, and Will Forte. Little bits, not too much. I like that because you don't want adults overpowering the movie and taking away from the kids. So I really did like how they were just thrown in here and there. That's it. Not too much of, of parents or adults around. And this movie really takes you back to your own high school experience how you, I was doing that. I was thinking, cause I was like a music geek. So I'm thinking, gee, how did I act in high school? And how did I feel in high school? You think about your own experience, who you hung out with, who do you still keep in touch with? And they really nailed all the little bits of like all the clicks that are in the high schools and everything. I will say one of the standout performances to me was Billy Lord. She was hilarious. For some reason, she always popped up at every single party. You never knew how she got there. That was like the shtick, the entire movie for her. And I thought it was hilarious. This movie proves you do not need a large budget. You don't need to spend $100 million. You don't need A-list stars. Now, as much as I love Avengers Endgame, and trust me, I do. I love the Avengers. I love all Marvel this movie proves all you need are acting skills, a smart, witty script, and an ambitious director. And you can come out with a pretty amazing product. And this movie is definitely the proof of that. Again, I love this movie. Go and see it. This is definitely in my top three of the year thus far. I know we're rounding into 
the start of summer to June. We'll see where the rest of the year takes us. But definitely, this is in my top three. I love this movie. Definitely go and see it. That's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe and join the review crew.